What's up everybody, Anthony with Wizard Flips. Today I'm gonna to show you what sold and we're gonna get it packed. I'm actually filming this after work later on in the evening. Right after work, I actually went to the Salvation Army in my area, picked up a few things. Um, this store tends to be very, very overpriced. The only time you get somewhat of a decent uh, deal is when you go on their 50% off days, which is very rare. It's generally once a month, uh, generally on a Saturday, so it's pretty rare that I get to catch that. I did find three things, and I'll show you those uh, later on in the video. But for now, let's show you what sold in the last day. Okay, so we only had two things sell, which is not bad for me rebuilding my store from scratch and only having 25 items listed. I need to go source ASAP. But we did have this Soldiers of Fortune um, Super Nintendo game that sold. I actually was going to bundle this with a few of the uh, um, Super Nintendo things but uh, or bundles, but I decided to uh, double check on the price and I was glad I did because this sold for $17 plus shipping. Um, but the buyer actually hasn't paid me for it yet and it sold yesterday. So uh, I'm going to get it ready, but I'm not going to actually ship it just yet. So we got that. Um, and then we... Um, sold this cash flow game here, which I had it listed for $49.99 or uh, sorry $39.99 and uh, I took a best offer of $29.99. These are the two things that did sell um, So I'm going to show you guys how I packed this um, I've actually never packed a board game. I've sold uh, a few board games, but locally not through eBay. This is really easy um, We actually go in my box here and we've got a bunch of these, so I'm, I would just slide that right in here and send it on its way. It's actually a a little bubble mailer, so pretty pretty easy to ship video games, uh, PS4 games, Xbox games, Wii, all those games will actually fit perfectly in here. So that's why I bought this in bulk. Now what we're going to show you my trip over to the Salvation Army. I didn't get a whole lot of footage just because it was pretty awkward. I had only my cell phone on me at the time. Wasn't planning on actually going, but I know I need a source. So I made a trip there anyway because I didn't get to make it to the garage sales this past weekend. Just because life happened, had some family stuff to attend to. So uh, that's that. But uh, I'm going to show you that footage and what I picked up. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see me. I actually just got off work. I actually am going to stop by the Salvation Army that's right up the street from my job before I have to go get my kids. We'll see if we get lucky. I've got this bug to just go thrift. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Salvation Army. They don't even have their sign on. So let's get inside and see what we find. Okay guys, so first things first, uh, first item I picked up is this Fuji film here. Uh, is it Fuji? Sorry, yeah it is Fuji film. So Fuji film, uh, quick snap flash camera, I uh, paid $3 for this. I almost didn't grab this just because um, I was a little concerned that maybe it just wasn't worth the hassle. Um, but it looks like there could be some decent profit. I've seen some of these go for as much as $14.99 plus shipping. Um, I probably wouldn't sell it for that much because the box is actually a little bit damaged. Um, not the end of the world, but it does have a little bit of damage on it. So I would probably sell this for, I don't know, $13, $14.99 free shipping. Something along the lines of that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll dig a little bit deeper. But that's the first thing. Uh... Second thing I'm actually really excited for, um, uh, it was my first time dabbling in some shoes, but this had a, a price tag of $6, and these things are actually in really, really good shape. Um, at first I thought they were Vans when I first looked at them because the, uh, the little tag right there looked like it said Vans on it, but um, yeah, it was $6 and there was only one shoe. I was like, okay, who's hiding shoes? Because these things are really clean. Um, and I looked across the aisle 
um, on the top shelf and sure enough I found the second shoe so really clean pair I looked up some uh, comps I saw a pair going for $34.99 um, shipped so I might uh, just do a little bit cheaper than that uh, but right in that range so it's my first time trying shoes so I'm gonna give it a shot after seeing uh, you know Harry Tornado and a few other guys that that really buy a lot of shoes it made me actually think hmm, maybe I should tap into that market myself so uh, we've got this nice pair of shoes oh and here's the kicker um, for some reason Salvation Army gave me a three dollar discount it was called rack discount so I actually only got these for three dollars can you believe that laces are there everything's there I mean everything's completely good on these shoes so really pumped up about that so total I'm um, in this purchase um, six dollars now I did take a huge risk on this next one here um, generally I would have looked away but I know Tommy Bahama is a really good brand you know a lot of the people I would work with actually really like this brand and say good things about this brand but I I don't know if I paid too much but I paid let's see if I can get the camera to focus I did pay ten dollars for this shirt but I think I can sell this for anywhere from twenty five to thirty five dollars shipped because it's in perfect condition it's in like new condition no tears no rips, no stains. It's actually a really nice shirt. Um, I actually considered actually keeping this for myself, but I'm not a huge fan of of used stuff, uh, used clothes. But it's a really, really nice shirt. So I'm I'm taking a little bit of a risk with this here. I also want to take the time to kind of show you my my little setup, how I photograph sh um, shirts. I actually behind this, I actually keep a little little thumbtack right right here uh, I'm gonna get it set up and I'll show you so I actually got this idea from rally roots um, they showed it in one of their videos where they made extended hangers this allows basically a little bit of an extension to go into the arms to kind of keep it propped up the shirt propped up a little bit so I like that idea what I do is I'll hang the shirt right here and I'll take my pictures up against this this wall right here um, and it seems to do pretty good. I've only posted one shirt and actually just did that last night. So I'm going to dabble into clothes a little bit. That's definitely my weak area when it comes to clothing brands that I don't know. I'm normally like a skateboard kind of guy. So I wear, you know, surf brands, skate brands, things of that nature. So I'm trying to dabble into, you know, more fancier or uh, kind of designer style uh, outfits. So let me get this set up again and I'll show you guys. Hey guys, so here's my setup. I've got a ring light, you know, on a tripod and, uh, Again, probably couldn't see before. I got a little thumbtack up there. And then I hang the shirt and I just take, you know, I just take pictures with my phone and try to get all the angles. But that's my basic setup for, for now anyway, of taking pictures of t-shirts. So there's that. So here's something funny. Is it wrong of me to ship an eBay item in an Amazon box? <laughs> I don't care. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to Frankenstein this box because it's actually the only box that I have on me that will fit this board. Okay guys, so one little trick I did to resize this box. I haven't cut it yet, but I took this video game and I traced all the way around. Um, you don't really need to trace all the way around. You just kind of need to hit the corners uh, because all you're going to do is you're going to cut all the way up in the cracks from that line up. You're not going to actually cut around right here. I was a little bit rusty. I haven't done it in a little while. So for some reason I traced all the way around, but all you need to do is cut the corners from that point all the way up. And what's going to happen is this box is going to collapse in here. These sides are going to collapse in and whatnot. And that's how you're going to get this thing sealed up here. I'll show you. Okay guys. So I've officially wrapped the board game and um, some bubble wrap only once around long ways because the sides I knew was going to be protected by that there. And the reason why you only cut from that mark all the way up is because these parts are going to actually fold over. I actually learned this from watching Lonnie's videos over at Shed Flips, um, well, way back when he was Garage Flips. So both of the Amazon logos are actually being tucked in, and then you fold that. Let's see if I can do this with the camera. Yep. And they all fold all the way together and it's nice and neat and not a single Amazon logo and it's wrapped nice and tight so all you got to do is slap your label on 
tape it up and everything and you are good to go. So, hope you guys learned something new. Okay, it's official. It's all sealed up. There we go. You can see hardly any wiggle room. And that's mainly just the pieces inside. But, there's our box. Nice thing is it actually weighs less than what I charged. Um, not intentionally, I always try to over um, estimate just in case um, packing materials end up weighing a little bit more. You always want to predict a little bit higher versus uh, under predict and then you pay the ultimate price for it. So there's that. Nothing feels better than going to the post office and dropping off one of your packages. So here we are, local post office. Let's go drop this thing off. Okay guys, we are hitting up the Goodwill right now. Let's see if we find any good stuff here. Okay guys, so I had to um, basically kill the volume because they were playing some music and I don't want future optimization to hurt me, or monetization I should say. Um, I did see two different PlayStation 2 controllers for five bucks. Um, they were only going for about $15 shipped on eBay, so decided to pass. Same thing with the Wii boards. Uh, they were going for about $20 plus shipping, so definitely no room for profit there. Uh, next you're gonna see I got I saw two pairs of bear claw boots and even though they look brand new They looked amazing. I passed on them because they too weren't selling really well The comps were horrible. They were like $15 plus shipping $10 plus shipping $20 shipped So I unfortunately decided to pass um, But I did score on a pair of shoes which you're gonna see here shortly. So stay tuned. Okay guys. We are back from Goodwill Southern California see if that wants to focus we are back from Goodwill and I spent a total of $21 um, even it was actually three cents less but I had a round up to three cents to donate um, I think I scored some decent items this time around I realized I didn't have any of these laying around and a good little tip if you didn't know already I'm sure most of you guys already know but you can actually order um, postal supplies or shipping packages and and these neat uh, padded flat rate envelopes you can order these for free but I ordered I think it was 50 of them or so 40 or 50 of them um, so yeah I needed those but right back to what I was gonna show you I want to show you my pickups okay so the first thing I found was this handheld weather forecaster um, Again, let me get this light out of the way. Um, I'll get you guys a better shot of it. But anyway, it's a handheld weather forecaster. Um, I got this for $4.99. Um, Goodwill um, doesn't have the best prices, but I'm gonna teach you a little trick kind of at the end of showing you all of these things. But I did see some comps. Uh, one of these sold, I believe it was for uh, 30 bucks or so um, I'll put a screenshot and then uh, there's only one other one listed and I believe it's the same the same seller so I took a chance on it for five bucks there's potential to make you know 15 20 bucks um, on this item so took a little bit of chance took took a little chance there um, second item drew me in right away right when I saw them because they looked pretty decent it was actually a pair of uh, vans five size five and a half I know it's a a small size uh, generally I would only pick up an adult size but these vans are in amazing condition as you can see here they're just a little bit dirty but overall the shoes are in good shape there's no rips there's no tears it's all nice and clean it's not worn down here um, same with the back normally the heel will wear out pretty quickly um, but on both they, exactly the same way looks like they were worn maybe once twice three times I don't know but they're actually in really good shape and I did pay 10 bucks for these but um, I wasn't able to find this exact shoe but I've seen a, a few other um, Geoff rallies um, go for upwards of even a hundred dollars used so I think there's some profit here especially in the condition that they're in I think I'm gonna try $49.99 shipped um, just as a starting point because I'm still learning. I don't know. I mean, I know a little bit about shoes, but not a whole lot about shoes. So uh, it's going to be a little learning experience for me um, with these shoes here. Um, 
spent a good hour there and going through a lot of other stuff, but some of their other stuff was just insanely priced high. Uh, I did see some PlayStation 2 controllers for $4.99, um, and they were selling for uh, $14.99 shipped, so I didn't want to take a chance on those. Um, last thing I picked up, it's going to be another one of these, it's a Tommy Bahama. This one I actually got cheaper than the last one, I paid $5.99 for this. And this one's in really good condition, with the exception that looks like a few of the little bit of strings are starting to come up a little bit right here. I think if I take some really fine scissors, I think I might be able to clean it up a little bit. But other than that, it's really clean. I made sure I looked for, you know, holes, burns, tears, anything of that nature, missing buttons. Um, I really dug deep on this one and um, I decided to give it a shot. It's got a nice little button right here. So $5.99, I'm probably going to list this for $29.99 shipped um, as a starting point, see if I get any, any eyes on it. And then uh, one thing I learned early on, and I, I heard it somewhere else, you can always start high and work your way down, but it's never a smart idea to price low and then work your way up um, because obviously it doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, those are my pickups there. All right, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, the, my whole objective is to always try to at least, you know, teach a little bit of something in all my videos. I'm kind of just getting started on this channel, so a little bit of it is going to be like teaching. A little bit more of it, I should say, is going to be teaching in the beginning. And then hopefully I'll grow to a point where I'll have enough sales every day and to where it'll be more so pulling items, showing you what they sold for, and focusing on actually going out and sourcing inventory. So. As of right now, it's kind of like, okay, we're building back up, stuff's starting to sell, so we're starting to get some profit going and some money to be able to, you know, expand even further. So stick with me, guys. It's going to be a fun journey. We're going to have some fun along the way. Before you leave, though, if you can please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to see future videos. And I've got my links to my eBay store and my Instagram channel, or my Instagram channel, uh, at least to my Instagram down in the description. So hope to see you guys over there as well. As always, Anthony with Wizard Flips. Peace.